Dear Cancer Cells, I remember the first time I saw you under the microscope. Such pretty, oblong cells, no two of you looked exactly alike. You attached to my flask in all your wonderment and beauty. I warmed up your fresh medium and you seemed to be so excited to grow. You even doubled in number in less than two days. I'm still so excited to spend hours and hours with you in the cell culture hood. And I can't wait for the days where you show me how you communicate with other cells and why cell communication is vital in cancer. Sometimes you're great. And sometimes I have to figure out why you aren't. My toddler eats better than you. You literally eat the same thing every day. So why do you love it on Monday and hate it on Wednesday? I never think of you as bad cells. You were normal cells, and now you've lost your way. So I need to know what's going on inside. I need to know what drives you to change from normal to cancerous, so that maybe we can do the reverse. You could really change the world with the information that you give me. You could help me save one patient, or better yet, you could help me predict how cancer cells migrate to the bone, so that we can save so many more people. My research depends on the secrets that you share, and I can't thank you enough for the victories that have come from our countless experiments. Thank you for staying alive during the snowstorms and proliferating still when I was too tired to spend time with you. Thank you for not getting too upset when I go away on three-day weekends. And thank you for sticking by me always. I'm forever grateful. With love, Heather.